guys, welcome back to my channel or to our channel. And today we are going to be testing our rocket launcher. We just made this from a Kiwi crate and we got it from the Wickstrom family. So thank you, the Wickstrom family. And we're pretty much gonna test them and then we might do another Kiwi crate that I, that I got for my birthday present. Present. Yeah, this isn't the never mind. Okay. okay. It's not a real rocket. Yeah, just an air-powered yeah. rocket. Ready? One. It's cool. Okay. Oh, too fast for Fox's camera. Sure is. And I knocked over our llama. Oh, no. <laughs> it's broken. It's okay. We'll it's get like it back. His head fell off. <laughs> it's not the first time. So it's okay. Lucky me, and my cousin fix stuff around your house. Yeah, you guys are good fixers. Okay, so I didn't really record that very well. I'll stand back this yes, time. You. Okay. You guys probably see a little bit. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> what happened? Look at the ceiling. <laughs> yeah, the ceiling. <laughs> okay. Okay. That was a good one. That was a good one. Bobby's passionate about STEM and rockets. <laughs> <laughs> the rockets give Dobby zoomies. He's very chubby and he has skinny legs and all Dobby, drop it. Good boy. Dobby. <laughs> Dobby. Drop it. Bobby, stop. Sorry, stop. Drop it. Good boy. Okay. All right, guys. Should we tell our audience we will be back later with more projects? With more projects in like. And okay. broken. What? Oh, don't worry. I have it. I have some tape. We'll adhesive. get it fixed. We have some adhesive. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See you in a bit. See you in a bit. Alright guys, we're back and we're going to be doing my birthday slash Christmas present from the Wickstroms again, so thank you guys. And let's just get right into it. So it's a geometric... Did I, did I oh, geometric? Geometric. That's alright. You... Candles. Okay, now I got it. It was designed in California. And this is all the stuff that we're going to need. Or that's all the stuff that comes in the crate. Yeah. Um, it says includes everything you need. Soy wax flakes, 10 ounces, 3 candle molds, 3 trays, 4 crayons, 5 paper cups, clear cups, 5 craft sticks, um, mesh mat, whatever. Perfect. Comes with hat. If you have one of these, put it on your head. Whoa. Oh, it comes with essential oil. 
nails too. Ooh, so because you can put your scent on there. Comes with little wicks. Ooh, it comes in these crayons, crayons, and like um, another popsicle one. sticks. Okay. And it comes with like, this is. It, it comes in giant. I don't know what this is. And this, these are the three plates. Plates. Yeah. It comes with another essential oil. We sent her all those for breath. Easy. Breathe easy. That's so good. And then, like, a plastic cup. Whoa. Oh, those are the, the wax? Oh, or the soy, soy flakes? Do you know what chicken box is? No, I don't even know. It comes with some paper and some mold. Oh, Sawyer, stick that inside the top of your hat. Yeah. There you go. Perfect. Nailed it. My, my question is, is it real fire? I think Mom's going to have to help us. Okay. I will help you, and then we'll record once we get to our next step. Yeah. Alright guys, so we have gone like a lot in. We like, you know how we just like, we like pretty much just started? We paused the video and then we like went way into it now. So now we melted the wax and we're adding um, the scent. We're, I'm, I did um, Breathe Easy and I'm going to do, what does that say now? Uh, rejuvenate. Rejuvenate. We're doing two drops of each. It took a few rounds in the microwave to get the uh, wax chips all the way melted, and then we put in um, a three-quarter inch of crayon, because she's going to start with a blue color. So this is the color she was trying to get to. But it looks kind of darker. It looks really dark. Yeah. And we also figured out how to... Make it into really like a shape. How are we gonna do this, Mom? So, uh, okay. So we we're gonna to need to it. get a wick out of the bag of wicks. So step one is straighten the wick, set the metal base in the clear cup so the wick stands in the middle of the mold. Okay. So I've made a candle before, and um you pretty much just like straighten it out like this. Because it stands up. You made a candle before? Yeah. Now it said, next you'll make the base of the candle, and it says, take your time, this step is important. What's it like? <laughs> so pour once you're ready. So we're going to go across like this for our steps. Wait, wait, it's not standing in the middle. Whatever. Okay. I'll hold it like. Well, they do show a trick that you can do. They show is you can set these to kind of like guide it. This is impossible. You can't do that now. Well. The only thing is, um, no, maybe let's do that in a little bit. Yeah. Okay, so put it over the mess mat. Pour it in. Now, when you pour it in, though, only pour it to the top of that green line. I'm scared. So it says, pour a very small amount of wax into the mold. Stop pouring to watch as the wax comes through the seam and fills the base of the clear cup. You want just enough wax to cover the colored band at the bottom. So it's going to be a really, really, really small candle. No, this is just this is just to do the wick. Once the wick gets um settled, uh, then we'll pour in the rest. It says that we're going to do a ten minute timer once, so just pour in enough to do up to the green line. Okay. Do you want me to hold this? No, because your fingers smell. <gasps> Thank you. 
Ich muss sie wieder abholen. Okay. You too, mm -hmm. That's good, I think. Okay, so now set it up so that your wick has some support. You can let go of it, Mom. Okay. Mom, can you let go? Yes, sorry. Okay. Alexa, set a timer for 10 minutes. Ten minutes, starting now. Mama, put it on hold. Like that? Like, yeah. Oh, wait. Like this. There you go. Okay. So, we're going to let it go for about ten minutes, and then we'll check back with you guys. Yep. Okay, so it's been sitting for 10 minutes, and we look in the destruction instructions. That. And it said if it's not completely hardened by the next 10 minutes, just leave it there. Leave it in there for another few minutes. And this was getting like hard, so I had to put it in the microwave for a little bit. They said to test how the base is doing, to yeah. gently poke a craft stick and see if it leaves a dent. It does not. It does not. We're good. Okay. Oh, Dobby. Dobby. Okay. It's dry? Yeah. So, the base is ready. Here, scooch. Dobby. Oh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> nugget. <laughs> Here's a nugget. All right. So then, step four. After the base is solid, give the cup of melted wax a final stir and slowly pour it into the paper mold and be sure you don't cover the wick all the way to the top, which I you couldn't, so. Do you want me to hold it in place? No. Okay. Don't do you. It does say, don't pour any leftover melted wax down the sink. <laughs> Let it harden in the paper cup and then throw the cup in the trash. This is going to take like 30 minutes. To that is correct. It says, okay, so once you get it full in there, adjust the wick so it is centered and rest a craft stick across the top of the mold to keep the wick in place as the wax cools. Let the candle sit for 30 minutes to an hour until it's completely hardened. The time can vary depending on the room temperature. Wait, what? So you're saying that if you want it to be, if you want it to like be hard and faster, you have to turn our house colder? Kind of, but it does say be patient. If you try to cool the wax faster by putting it in the fridge, you could make your candle crack. So you really have to let it just sit. But I don't like being patient. Well, we can go do something else. Okay. Now, we'll come back in like... 30 minutes to 30 an hour. 30 minutes to an hour. So, <laughs> probably see you like 45 minutes. But, it'll look like a second because... That's true. Movie magic. Yeah, so be back in one second. Bing. All right, so it has been 30 minutes and surprisingly it is dry. And really hard. Hard. We told you it would look like a second. <laughs> um, I don't really know how to get it out. How to get it out, Mom? Okay. So, how about step six? Nope. Oh. Oh. Oh my leg. Yeah, let's go back. Okay. Sawyer, do you want to run the camera while I look at this? Oh, it's a step eight. Starting from the overlapping edge, gently peel off the paper. It's okay if the paper te tears. You won't be using this mold again. Use the craft stick to chop off the accent at excess wax. The outside of the mold. Okay. So then it says, once the wax is completely cool, carefully remove the mold and the wax from the clear cup. Well, it's kind of warm. It is? I, s I feel it. Maybe it's not warm. Maybe it's not ready. Oh, it is kind of warm. Hmm. 
Should we just try it anyway? We can try and see what happens. We still have more paper. Kind of like that. Do you think we should wait? Is yeah. that what that face is? Keep going. Slow. Gina, put it on the plate. Okay, you just And I'll get the um. Uh, oh, are we, are we ready to light it on I'll fire? Oh, okay. Do you want to light it on fire? Yeah. Let's smell it. Can I light it on fire? Oh, yes, sir. That's really nice. It looks like it does in the picture on the box. That's cool. We'll just not let it burn for a super long amount of time. My hands are really shaky right now. Okay. Yay, success! We hope you. We hope. Can you say it for me? We hope you like this video. We know it. Is it long or is it not long? Oh, it's about 12 minutes. That's okay. So it's not super long, but it is a little bit long. Hope you liked the video. It was fun making it, and the candles turned out pretty good. So thanks for watching. And if you like this video, make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and go check out some of our other videos. If you have these candles, if you have this, hope you have fun with it. Yeah. Oh, also, it is not a Kiwi crate. It is a doodle, doodle crate. crate. Even but it's, it says Kiwi crate. it's by Kiwi Co. It's by, yeah. Yeah. It was fun. All right, guys. Well, thank you, Honey Badger family.